This video is intended to review the key principles related to loading medication syringes into your Excelsior syringe pump. The process in this video follows the written guidelines you received from your Providence Infusion RN during your admission teaching visit. You should have already prepared your IV medication and tubing as described in the last video. You are now ready to load the tubing into your pump. As in the previous video, you should have already washed your hands, prepared a clean workspace, lined with paper towels, gathered all the supplies, including the medication syringe, Excelsior syringe pump, tubing, flushing syringes specific for your type of line, alcohol wipes, batteries, waterless hand cleaner, and a sterile red cap if you've been directed to use one. Loading the medication syringe into your Excelsior syringe pump. Squeeze the two black levers on the push arm together and slide the push arm up to the top of the pump. Snap the syringe into the syringe holder making sure that the flange of the syringe fits into the slots. Squeeze and slide the pusher arm back down to meet the end of the syringe plunger. After cleaning and flushing the IV line as you have been directed, you are now ready to connect the primed IV medication tubing to yourself or your family member's IV access line. Open the slide clamp to start the infusion by pressing the start normal button. When the infusion is complete, the red attention light and an audible alarm will activate. When that happens, press the off button. Pinch the slider arm and slide it up. Remove the syringe from the pump and either discard the syringe and tubing or apply a new sterile red cap if you have been so directed. Your Providence Infusion RN has reviewed this process with you, so please refer to the specific individual instructions written and that they provided with you. If you have any further questions, please call us so that one of our IV nurses can answer any questions you may have.